Welcome back, Christmas carolers, and congratulations! If you're watching this video, that means you've read four of the five chapters of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and all you have left is the very short and exuberant Christmas morning final chapter, Stave 5. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, this is the fifth and final video in a series about A Christmas Carol, and you need to start with this video right here. So go watch that, and then come on back. In Stave 4, Scrooge meets the ghost of Christmas yet to come, who, unlike the other ghosts, is dressed all in black, he's faceless, he's voiceless, all he does is this ominous pointing all throughout the chapter. He looks kind of like a Dementor from the Harry Potter movies or the Grim Reaper, and that makes sense because Stave 4 is a chapter completely filled with death. The ghost shows Scrooge some businessmen who are talking about the death of one of their colleagues, and it's clear that none of them were particularly close with him, but they figure it's up to them to put together some sort of funeral service. And then we see some servants and workers who are selling off some of the belongings of the deceased. And then we see the dead man himself, but under his shroud. And finally, because Scrooge wants to see at least somebody who might be happy about this death, or at least remember the person fondly, all the ghost can show him is somebody who owed the deceased money and who's now happy that he'll get at least a little bit of a reprieve and that debt will be passed on to somebody else who buys him a little extra time to pay it off. This chapter is a delicious example of dramatic irony. That's where we as the readers know something or have something figured out, but there's a character in the story who has no clue, and that is Scrooge all the way through Stave 4. We know that this is Scrooge that everybody's talking about and that we're seeing the after effects of his death, but Scrooge has no idea it's him until the very, very end of the chapter when the ghost finally shows Scrooge his own tombstone. Bob Cratchit and his family, and Scrooge's nephew Fred, both show up again in this chapter. Those are two threads that Dickens has been following all throughout his story, and here in Stave 4, nearly at the end, he brings both of those threads together in a very simple but effective way that shows us what both of those men are like, and shows Scrooge what people should be like. At the end of Stave 4, I think we can be firmly convinced that Scrooge's transformation is finally complete, especially when he says to the ghost of Christmas yet to come, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. So now it's time to go read Stave 5. Scrooge wakes up on Christmas morning and is overjoyed to discover that it is still Christmas, and he has the opportunity to celebrate Christmas in true fashion, in a way he never has before. I hope you've enjoyed reading A Christmas Carol along with me this year, and I hope the spirits of all three Christmases, past, present, and future, will strive within you. Merry Christmas, everyone.